everyone, it's Tova. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is on my iPod 6. I recently got an iPod and I got a bunch of stuff on it. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what is on my iPod. Obviously, you already know. So if you guys like these types of videos, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss one of my videos. And without further ado, let's just roll into so it. My lock screen is just I praise you Oh Lord, for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, and that is Psalm 39, 14. So then my background for my iPod is just some donuts, because you know, I love donuts. So my home screen is just my messages, then my YouTube, which you guys should totally subscribe to, and then I just have my iTunes, because you gotta have that music, and then I have my Bible app, which if you guys didn't know, I'm Christian. Um, so I just have that so I can look up Bible verses and stuff on that. So it just starts with like a home and you just have some stuff on your home and then you can have read where where you can just do whatever book of the Bible and whatever chapter you want. I did Song of Solomon. And then you have plans which I haven't really um, explored this app that much and you can just have some like topics and stuff. And then there's explore and you can see a lot of stuff and then there's more just videos, verse of the day, events, share. I haven't really explored this app too much. I've just done it for like just reading purposes. And then I just have FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, notes, iTunes store, app store, settings, and Safari. Just the basic ones that it comes with. And then I have social media which I have my Instagram. And here's my Instagram. You should, guys should totally go follow me if you don't already. It is just at totally.tova. And yeah, this is my Instagram. Looking pretty lit. <laughs> and then next we have my Musical.ly, which this is my Musical.ly. Again, at totally.tova. Um, you guys should totally go follow me if you haven't already. Shameless self promo. And then I have Pinterest, which I don't really use Pinterest that often. But whenever I do use it, it's just... I just like to have it. It's at Tova Noel. So there's that. And then, if you scroll over, I just have my extras, which is just what my iPod like came with, which I don't really like care about. I'm not going to go into detail. For my next folder, I have iTunes, You, Pat, Podcast, Keynote, GarageBand, iMovie, all the stuff that my iPod came with. And then I have Layout. And this is just for Instagram. Okay, so this, you can just pick a few of your pictures that you want and then you can just pick what layout you want that to and then you get to you can like crop it and all that kind of stuff flip it mirror it it's really cool and then you can just save whatever you want um for that so that is all in that folder and then my next folder i just have my emails which are just email and then gmail i have a bunch of emails that i haven't like and then I have my games, which is just Best Fiends, Subway Surfers, Word Cookies, Bubble Shooter, Crossy Road, Flexi Word, and then Pictoword and Rollerball. And I downloaded a bunch of games just because, like, I like to play games and sometimes I'm out of Wi-Fi so I need something to do. So Best Fiends, you guys have probably already heard of it. It's just a matching game. You guys just have to match the little things. Um, yeah, that's Best Fiends. And then you guys probably already know what Subway Surfers is, but Word Cookie... It's hard to explain. You have to match up, you have to unscramble letters to make words, and then you get points if, yeah. So, here we go. So, play. I'll show you guys how you can play. You just have to do this, like, roar, like, or, um, and you can see all the ones that I've already done, and then you just have to do that. So, the next one is Bubble Shooter, and this is just where you have to, like, pop all the bubbles, and I, like, am addicted to this game, guys. Like, it's kind of a problem, but I love this game. I don't even know. It's just, like, tricky, so I like it. If this will ever load. Okay, I'm on level 101. Like, what? I never even noticed that. Okay, so you just have to pop the bubbles, like, match them up in their colors. You guys probably have seen this before. I am going to stop playing because... Like, I'm going to get addicted to that. Okay, moving on to the next thing. I have Cross the Road. You guys probably already know what that is. Now I have Plexi Word. And this is just where they have, like, a picture. And you have to try to guess what it says. And this is a small hand. So, um, and you can get, like, points and stuff for every thing that you... And you can get hints. You can get hints and stuff. So... 
it's a small hand so I don't even know I'm gonna go on so the next thing is picked a word and it's sort of like plexi word but it's different as well it's just you there they give you two pictures and then you have to guess like what they say and this is like a chicken and a nut um, I don't even know like what um shoe I don't know okay well that's that you have to just you can just type in all the letters that you want and it'll if it's not right then yeah so then my last game is rollerball and I used to be addicted to this game like this, and you want to try to get each of the little stars in and you want to try to get the ball to the goal and get all the little stars in the like obstacle thing that you use so yeah that is it for my games and the next thing I have is wishbone and this is just like a would you rather type of app and it'll load loading loading okay and then you just say this says would you rather have weak magic or super strong muscles and I would say super strong muscles and you can see what other people have get like have um, have voted what would you rather eat for breakfast donuts obviously okay so that is the would you rather app. then I have Netflix which you guys all should know what Netflix is because like yeah duh but yeah I just have Netflix um, just Netflix then I have this app called Duolingo and this is for helping me learn Spanish. I haven't really used this app that much just because my mom is teaching me Spanish because if you guys don't know I'm homeschooled. Um, so yeah, this app just, so then it just has, this says which of these is the bread, el pan, and then it says if you're right or not, and then which one is the milk, la leche, and then it tells you like what the different stuff is. So that's that. And then I have Family Feud too. Yeah, I like to play sometimes and then you can spin and it's just like, like the game show Family Feud, if you guys know what that is, it's basically like that. You just have to um, guess what the things are. So like here, I'll show you guys. I'm going to be playing. So I'm just going to play one round for you guys. It says, tell me a lullaby that always works on babies. Um, I don't know, you can do like a question mark, twinkle, twinkle. And that is kind of what that is. It asks you a question and it tells you how many, what the top five answers are. And you have to guess that what that is. So then I have Pandora, which you guys also should probably already know what Pandora is, and it is just, it plays music, um, you guys already know what that, what Pandora is. Okay, so the second to last app that I have is Clue, and it is a period tracker, you guys have probably seen other people's, people using this, and I just recently started using this, but I kind of do like it, it like tracks when your, um, period will be, and yeah it just shows you some stuff and then you can like add other people's periods and stuff so that is kind of cool to track track your period and also you can like add in what your symptoms are for that day like if you are having cramps you can add cramps and then you can add your emotion like if you're sensitive sad PMS any of those happy I'm happy today so that's good um, so yeah and then you click done whenever you're done and that's kind of cool because it just tracks your period and the last thing that I have is this game of life it's just basically the game of life it cost um, I think $2.99 um, but I kind of like it so I mean who cares but okay it's, and then you can do local play continue my game that I'm already playing and you guys probably already know what this is or you can just like look it up if not um, so then it's yellow spins which is not me and then you just play that. Um, it's just basically like the game of life, but on your phone. Yep. So, cool. yeah. So that is all that is on my iPod. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down below any video requests you guys might have. And be sure to subscribe so you can see more of me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.